Hi, I'm Ram Gopal from presentationprocess.com. If you have not already subscribed to this channel, please take a little bit of time to go hit that subscribe button so you can be intimated about any new videos that I post on this channel. In this video, you will learn how to create a beautiful 3D broken text effect in PowerPoint. The beautiful text effect you will learn to create today looks like this. As you can see here, it's a simple yet quite a versatile effect to learn. You can use this to communicate a concept like a broken stock market, a broken uh, process or a bo broken brand. There are so many different ways in which you can use this simple text effect. Once you learn how to create the base text effect, you can use it to use the effect for any word that you choose. So let us learn how to create this simple yet highly impactful effect from scratch. The first thing I'm going to do is to write the text upon which I'm going to use the effect. So let us go to AutoShapes Gallery, pick up the text box tool and I'm going to write the word broken. Then I'm going to choose a thick font. So let me choose instead of Calibri something as thick as Arial Black. And let us go to the size of the font and go to 96. If required, I can always increase the size quite substantially like this. Now this is beautiful. Now the next thing I'm going to do is to break this down into two pieces. For that, let me go to Auto Shapes Gallery. From Lines, I'm going to choose this option here called Freeform Shape. And then the way you draw the freeform shape is you click at a point and then move the cursor over to the next point and click again and then click again, click again and move your cursor over to the starting point and that will show the full shape and then click to release the cursor. Now I'm going to use this shape to break down the text that I had written earlier into two pieces. So I'm going to select both of them and I'm going to go to format, merge shapes and I'm going to choose fragment. Now you can see that the text is now broken down into multiple shapes. I'm going to select this piece which I don't want and I'm going to delete. The same way I'm going to use my cursor by clicking and dragging and choosing all the areas that I don't want and I'm going to just delete them. This is just a process of cleaning up things so that your text really looks very beautiful. Now we have got two pieces here. I'm going to differentiate the upper and the bottom piece by applying different colors. So I'm going to click and drag my cursor across the top part and I'm going to choose a color as bright as this one, this yellow color and I'm going to go to shape outline and say no outline. And for the one at the bottom, I'm going to click and drag my cursor across to select all the bottom portions and I'm going to go to shape fill and choose another bright color like this one or this green color. And then let me go to shape outline and no outline. The next thing you can do is to select the bottom portion and you can move all the pieces to such an extent that it looks broken, yet your audience is able to read the text that is written there. And that is very important. If your audience can't really read what you've written there, then the entire effect falls apart. Now, if you're happy with the effect that you've created now, you select everything and then press Ctrl G to group it. Now the next step is to right click on this, go to format shape and go to the effects option under shape options. Now remember, though this is text, the reason why we are using shape options instead of text options is we've used the format fragment tool to break this down into multiple pieces. So these are individual pieces or shapes and they are not text. So that is the reason why we are going to use shape options and the effect options here. The first thing I'm going to do is to go to 3D rotation and give it a perspective. So let us go to one of the presets. Under perspective, the one that I'm going to use is this one called as perspective relaxed. And if you feel that the angle is not proper, you can always make some changes. For example, by clicking up, you would be able to bring this up slightly so that the text is clearly visible. Now that this is quite nice. The next thing I'm going to do is to add a little bit of depth here. So let us go to 3D format and add depth of say around 15 points. Now that looks beautiful. 
The next thing I'm going to do is to add some kind of an effect to make this really stand out. So let us go to material and I'm going to choose instead of the standard option, I'm going to go for the special effect and I'm going to choose dark edge. Can you see here there is sheen here on the text. Then let us go to lighting and I'm going to use the third option here called as soft. Now that really makes the text stand out and to make it really come out and pop out of the page, I'm going to go to the shadow effect and I'm going to apply a simple outer shadow and it is called as offset bottom and I'm going to increase the size of the shadow to 103%. And now when I go to the slideshow mode, you can see that the effect is really beautiful. If you like the video lesson that I had taught you just now, then you will really like our newsletter called Success by PowerPoint. In that newsletter, I share exclusive PowerPoint tips and tricks that is available only to my email subscribers. You can join this free newsletter by clicking on the link here and keep posted about all the latest PowerPoint tips and tricks that you can use readily in your next presentation. So if you're someone who takes PowerPoint presentation seriously, then this is a newsletter that you must be part of. So please click on the link here and join our newsletter and I will see you inside. Thank you very much.